Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, LearningVideo.com. I just want to say thank you to all the people that helped when I asked the question uh, how to fix my blue screen of death error on my Windows 10 machine. A lot of people came up with uh, ideas which were great. I think the number one thing people asked me to check was the RAM. And I ran like one RAM test, many RAM tests actually for like 24 hours, didn't get one error. So I don't, I don't think it was that and then I was working with JJ over Asus he's been really kind to help me out because it, it's not his board the problem wasn't with this board at all um, he had me reinstall a clean install of Windows 10 that didn't help um, and then I was watching Linus uh, Tech Tips Linus Sebastian and he was doing like a scrapyard wars and during their test at the end of their finale of their scrapyard war where they're uh, assembling computers um, and doing running some tests, the tests were failing. And they were like, hmm, why? And then they said, whoa, it might be dirty power. So they went and grabbed the UPS, put it in the machine, and they weren't crashing anymore. And I was thinking, watching that, I was like, I wonder. So I went down to my basement, grabbed one of my UPSs that I wasn't using, uninterruptible power supply for those people that don't know. It's basically a big battery, conditions the power, makes it clean, I guess you could say. Put that on a machine, and that was, Five days ago, not one crash, no crashes. So now I'm thinking, all right, uh, it's probably the power supply. Cause you might be saying, well, Dave, why don't you just leave the UPS on there? And I'm like, you know, the problem with this UPS, it's very loud. Here, you can listen to it. And as you can see, what I've done is I've put this like material over it to uh, dampen some of the high frequency noise that come out of it. Cause I record in my office a lot. Cause like, I'm working on my A7R two course right now and I just don't want to hear that bzzz, that kind of high pitch um, noise in there so I'd rather not have a UPS um, just mostly because of the noise issue also because when even when the computer's on that thing pulls like 30 watts and it's not even there's not even under load it's pulling 30 even when the battery's fully charged um, and I know a lot of people are probably watching this like Dave just use a UPS so what I'm thinking of doing is buying this uh, Seasonic, if that's how you pronounce it, I think it's Seasonic Platinum 860XP2, 860 watt. I have a thousand watt in there right now, the one I believe is failing, um, or because it started crashing like maybe just a month or two after JJ left and he did the install. Because the one I've got in there now is a 1000 watt from NZXT, it's called the Hale 1000 watt. It's a 90 plus gold. Um, it's about $200. So that's what I'm gonna try next is, I'm pretty confident that it's the power supply. So I'm gonna take that one out. And the this one has a pretty loud fan in it. Um, and I know I've had Seasonics before and they're very, very quiet. So I'm gonna replace that. But I just wanna say thank you. I just wanna give you an update. It sure seems like it's the, the power supply because when I put clean power on it, it's good. So maybe there's some dips in voltage or something's going on there, um, especially when it's going into the sleep mode um, or sometimes when I'm in Premiere Pro and I'm really doing some hard editing with 4K footage and stuff like that, I will get a blue screen of death because I was getting about maybe one to three crashes a day uh, before when I was doing editing and I've been editing, uh, this is Friday, right? I've been on Monday through Thursday, I've been editing pretty hard on this course. It hasn't crashed once. And it hasn't crashed once going into a sleep state or coming out of sleep. So, yay, I think we're good. So it ended up being the power supply. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.